Hi, I'm Bob Voss, also known as New Business Bob. Welcome to this episode of the New Business Bob Show. As you can see, we have John here again. John Mackey is with Master Credit Solution, and he is the credit guy. Just like Larry, the accounting guy, is the accounting guy, this guy's the credit guy. He knows everything there is to know about credit. Today, John, I want to talk about a topic, and, and yeah. we are talking about credit scores the last time. Everybody has a credit score. You believe everybody needs to get, know their credit score. Not everybody has a credit score, but we'll talk about that. Okay, in a but okay, but let's assume that most people have a okay. credit score, and you think that everybody should know what their credit score is. Now, what most people don't understand is what actually goes into a credit score. Or you had told me earlier that there's five factors or whatever that affect your credit score. Could you share with our audience what those five factors actually are? Sure. The first one is credit history. And that has to do with how, uh, your payment structures, how you've paid your, your bills in the past. It affects, a current late affects your score more if your credit score is high. So for example, if you had a 750 score and you had one 30 day late that just happened, it's gonna drop at 120 points. Wow. That much. For one time. Now. If you had a 600 score, it might drop at 25 points. Okay. Okay, so it's all based on, it, your credit score is a snapshot in time. It's right now. Okay. Okay. So if something bad has happened right now, it goes down, and sometimes significantly. The so, I'm sorry. Okay. So a late payment, and a late payment has to be 30 days late in order for it to affect A it? month and a day. Month and a day. So 31 days or roughly 32 days is when it starts affecting Correct. it. Okay, so we got to watch out for that. What else Correct. affects your credit score? You've got the amount that you owe. Now, that sounds odd, but it has to do with your credit cards. Okay. Okay, not your installment loans, but your revolving loans. Okay. Now, depending upon how much you have, there are various breakdowns. Um, but the common theory is to keep it below three zero or thirty percent. So if you've got a card worth a thousand dollars, you can borrow on, you can borrow up to three hundred dollars, and it not affecting your score. Oh, if you okay. hit the maximum amount, let's say a hundred percent, ninety five percent, you're maxed out. Okay, you're going to take a significant drop, and that's going to affect your credit score. That absolutely. And what really hammers you is when you go over the limit. Oh, okay. Okay, with the late fees or, or you know, an additional fee or whatever. If you go over, it's going to hammer you hard. Okay, we're going to talk in other videos about how to fix this stuff. Yeah. But okay, so the first thing was um, your payment history. Second thing is how much credit you have based on what is given to you. If you're using less than 30%, you're probably okay. What's the other things that affect the credit score? That's just revolving now. Right. Now we've got the history of your credit. Okay. So history meaning the longevity, okay. how long you've had it. A person such as myself, this is very old. Like me. Okay, we're both very, right. very old. Um, it takes the history, how far back it goes. Okay. Okay, so if you've got a credit card for 30 years and you've never been late, that's a big plus. Okay. How that affects stuff, though, is if you go to cancel a card, cancel the newest ones, not the oldest ones. Okay. Because they ho hold more... More weight. value or weight. weight. Okay. And that's 15%. Okay. So long, longer you have credit cards is actually better than the shorter the credit cards Correct. are taking out new ones Correct. all the time. Okay. What Correct. else affects your credit score? The last application for credit. So if you continually oh, okay. look for, for credit cards or shopping for loans or whatever, um, and auto loans are a big thing. What people don't know, for example, with auto loans is that when you go in, they make their money on the loans. It has very little to do with the car. Right. So what they do is they take that loan uh, that you apply for and they'll shop it oh. to say 15 people, right. 15 companies. And that and shopping for, it affects your credit score? Yes, for business loans. Oh, okay. On the business side it does. Okay. Okay. We've had many loans where a person has been in the 730 to 750 range and, and the business uh, uh, Business loans won't accept them for a credit card because they've had too many inquiries. Okay. Which is a whole other topic. Okay. And when, what's the last one? What's the last The type here? of credit utilized. Okay. This has to do with the balance between installment and revolving. Okay. Okay. If you've got 15 credit cards and one, one uh, installment loan, that is not as good as if you were to have, let's say, three credit cards, two installment, a couple of cars. Okay. 
is the balance that they're looking for. Does a mortgage fit in there in this anywhere? Or is it only on no, installment not a mortgage, loans but, but and credit cards? It's on the installment and the credit cards. So I have to ask this because I've owned homes for a long, long time. If you and I have never been late, but if I was late for my mortgage, does that affect the credit score? Absolutely. Oh, it does. Okay. Huge. Okay, so there is that portion is in there. Okay, so those well, are the... But we're talking about the balance now okay, between, right. the, between the loans. So these are the five things that affect your credit score. We're going to put this on the video. It's also going to be available on the website. Look for it at newbusinessbob.com and come back for more videos as we deal with this subject of credit, not only personally, but business as well. And by the way, don't forget to subscribe to the New Business Bob YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.